Alright, what's going on everyone out there on YouTube, NES Ruler, and welcome to a brand new review, and this time around we'll be checking out a film that was sent to me review by Warner Brothers, and you can pick this up on 4K at all your favorite online retailers. It is a film from the year 1959, and it is the Western classic Rio Bravo. So my history with this film is, during my first semester in film school, well, it was over 11 years ago now, I took some classes on westerns because the western genre was one that I wasn't really familiar with. It was one that I really wanted to learn more about and uh, deepen my knowledge about because before that I really didn't watch many films from the genre. Uh, even the classics I really didn't watch that many of them. I saw a couple of them but I really didn't dive too deeply into the genre. So after that semester of taking some classes on westerns, started watching some more stuff, some stuff by Boddicker and things like that. And one of the first films that my professor showed in one of my classes was Rio Bravo. And, um, you know, I really did fall in love with this movie. I think it has some of the really strongest characters in a western uh, for its time. Personal uh Personality-wise, I think um, you really love the characters in this movie, and you really um, become to know them as the film goes on. You know, you really feel like you're, they're your friends, and you really root for them as the film plays out. So basically, we follow John Wayne's character. He is a sheriff of a town, and he is joined along by Dean Martin's character, Dude and a older gentleman, Stumpy, and they are the three policemen, sheriffs in town. Of course, John Wayne is in charge, and Dean Martin has a bit of a drinking problem that he's trying to get over. Uh, he had a girl who left him, and he turned to the bottle. And this was this movie kind of is interesting because it deals with the topics of addiction all the way back in 1959 and um, what alcohol does to somebody and how they deal with the pain of a tragic memory by turning to the bottle. Really interesting subtext for a film that is, you know, 40, uh, 63 years old at this point. So Dean Martin's character, dude, he's a drinker, but he's trying to turn his life around. He's trying to make John Wayne's character proud of him and become a better person. And as the film progresses, he achieves this, but... Uh, the film begins with a shootout in a local saloon by a gunslinger. And, of course, John Wayne arrests him and throws him in jail. And the rest of the film pertains about his brother trying to break him out of this jail. And John Wayne and his two buddies um, try to protect the city and protect the jail from having this breakout. And more and more hoodlums start to show up to try and break this gunslinger out of the jail. Along the way, we are uh, met with Ricky Nelson's character, Colorado. He joins the fray. He's like the young buck of the group. And there's a love story between John Wayne and this woman who comes in on the stagecoach, who is a bit of a card thief. But ultimately, this movie really shines in its script. It's really, really great. Really well written. Amazing characters, like I said, and it's shot in Technicolor. Uh, it looks really, really fantastic. This is a brand new um, a 4K restoration here from Warner Brothers. If you guys have the old Blu-ray, you already know that's a pretty strong release from Warner Brothers. And um, this 4K just blows it out of the water when it comes in terms of picture quality. Um, it does get soft at some points throughout the film, but the exteriors of this transfer really shines, really shows off the Technicolor boom of this film. And it, it really does look great at some points. Um, like I said, especially exteriors of this film. Um, you know, everybody does an amazing job in the acting department as you would uh, assume with the cast like John Wayne and Dean Martin and um, Ricky Nelson. Everybody just does a really fantastic job in this film. And, you know, like I said, it, it, it is one of the classics top tier westerns for sure from the time so this like i said brand new 4k restoration from warner brothers you have hdr and you have a um just a usual 5.1 uh 
um, audio track on this. Sounds really good. It's an older film, of course, so it's not going to sound amazing or blow your minds like a modern soundtrack would. But it does sound really good. Everything's crisp and clear. And my 11.1 uh, channel system that I have, everything sounded really, really solid. So packaging-wise, you have your um, basic new Warner Brothers 100th anniversary packaging that they've been doing. There's the spine and the back. And inside you have your digital copy and your disc with, you know, no artwork or anything like that. But, you know, a, a nice looking package from Warner Brothers. No slip case or anything with this one. Now, it's unfortunate because there's really no features on this release. It's just a, um, a commentary track. And, you know, Warner Brothers with their 4K catalog titles are kind of starting to shy away from including Blu-rays with features on them. But that's a conversation for another day. But if you have the old Blu-ray, you might want to hold on to it for the feature wise because all you're going to get on this is the film and the commentary track. So um, overall, wish there was more features here, but you know, the, the film looking as good as it does uh, makes it understandable. And like I said, if you're a fan of this movie, you probably already have it on Blu-ray and you should probably keep that because it has all of the features. But overall, a solid catalog release title here from Warner Brothers for a classic film. And if you guys are into westerns and Howard Hawks, you know, who is one of the masters and you haven't seen Rio Bravo, highly recommend you guys check it out. It's really a fantastic film. So that is my review of Rio Bravo from the year 1959. Excited to be working with Warner Brothers and I uh, thank them for sending this my way. I have a couple more reviews coming for you guys for films that they have sent me. So stay tuned for that. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash nesruler22. Follow me on letterbox, letterbox.com slash nesruler22. Hope everybody is doing well. And I shall talk to you guys later. See you guys.